Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the lossless scaling tool again. After checking it out a while ago and finding it to not be super helpful in really demanding games, I wanted to see if I could find a game where it actually had a solid benefit over just running the game at the native resolution or just dropping it down. And so I decided to actually check out Monster Hunter Rise, a game that already ran pretty decently on this chip considering the fact that right now we're running with the lowest in-game graphics settings, but we do have the render resolution set to 100%. At the lowest preset, it tries to set it at 70%, and that means that you're running at a pretty noticeable reduction in resolution over 1080p. But of course, we can try to boost the overall experience by using FSR on here. As you can see right now, at the native 1080p resolution, we're really struggling to even get close to 60 right now, though our 1% lows are very close to our averages so the overall experience is still really nice but perhaps fsr could actually help us here getting our averages as close to 60 as possible now to actually use the program is really easy you pretty much just launch it and just go with the default settings although if you are on an apu i recommend using the optimized version but really once you do this you're already all of the way there really you don't really need to mess with any of the other settings just go with the default preset and the way that it works is that at this point you pretty much go into the game and you just set it to windowed mode at whatever resolution you want to drop it down to in this case 720p and you just go into the program and hit the start scaling and it'll have a little countdown and you'll go back into the game and it'll pretty much just full screen it for you and it'll apply FSR on top of that. But jumping in to measure the overall performance that we're getting out of the game right now, this is actually really impressive. We are now at a comfortable above 60 FPS average with 1% lows that are not that far away from 60, which means that even in the worst case scenarios, the performance that we're getting here is more than adequate. The best result of all of this though is actually the fact that the game does look better than if we were just running it at 1080p with 70% resolution. So there is actually some benefit to running this with FSR because it does look better. Even with the lower quality optimized version, this actually still looks better than if the game was just lowering the internal render resolution down to 70%, which is around the same resolution of 720p. It's not exactly that. It's actually a slightly higher resolution, but this looks noticeably better. The level of performance that it gives is actually really nice, and I would be more than happy to continue to play like this. Of course, FSR isn't the only upscaler that is actually built into here. The program actually comes with NVIDIA's own image scaling software, as well as Intel's, and it supports a wide variety of ones that are pretty much more designed for Pixar art games. On their own Steam page, they say that if you want to get a upscale that has the least amount of overhead then you can also use the nearest neighbor one so i decided to give it a go just to see what it would one look like and what kind of performance difference are we actually looking at here and it was certainly an interesting experience at 720p the upscaler while giving us some really nice results with one percent lows pretty much now being at 60 and our average being well above that it pretty much just looks not that impressive in terms of even fsr 1.0 the things aren't smudging really the overall resolution of everything is really rough and it makes it seem like i'm playing this on a switch screen that has just been blown up the edges of everything have just noticeable stair stepping and it overall just does not look great but the level of performance that it gives is at least decent though i would feel like most of the time you're just better off playing it with the lower in-game render resolution i don't think that this did anything to really improve the image in any way that would make it worthwhile to go with this instead of just running it natively at 720p without any filter on top of it but i'm glad i actually revisited this piece of software because i had kind of written it off just based off of the fact that the result in a heavier game wasn't that impressive but i think that there are plenty of games out there that teeter on the edge of smooth playability that could actually benefit from this so i'm going to be testing out a bunch of different games i'm going to be making essentially a compilation of some of the games that i noticed gave the best results with it because it's a definitely an interesting piece of software and we'll see just how good of a result we can get out of this but anyways i hope you enjoyed this quick look at this software again if you're interested in picking it up it is linked down in the description and as always memberships are enabled on the channel so if you're interested in joining and supporting that way feel free to do so i will see you guys next time